Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, we have Tommy Torres, a Puerto Rican music producer, singer, and songwriter who has been storming up the charts for the past few years. Recently, he was named the number one hot Latin track producer by Billboard, which is not a surprise considering Tommy has produced hit singles for the likes of Alicia Keys, Ricardo Arjona, Alejandro Sanz, and many more. But while his producing career has been a hit in itself, his solo singing career is taking off with the song of hope he wrote in response to the election of our new president. Check it out, it's Tommy Torres right here on American Latino TV. Sol calienta, más de la cuenta. My name is Tommy Torres. I'm a Puerto Rican musician, singer, songwriter. In general, I'm a musician. <laughs> One of the good things about having studied engineering is that I, my first job when I, when I started was up here at Sony Studios. In that studio, I was an assistant engineer. So I worked in a lot of the MTV Unplugged. I got to be there in sessions uh, with Michael Jackson, with Mariah Carey, Michael Bolton, and I think the learning experience from that was not necessarily a technical engineering experience. It was actually more of logistics experience, like how every producer deals with every different artist. And the producer has to be somebody that the artist trusts. For people that may be not familiar with what a producer does, a producer is pretty much the director of a movie. You kind of direct the artist, it's like, you know, I like how you sang that, but I sort of would like it if you tried it this other different way. But the producers on the other side trying to figure out how to make musicians, arrangers, engineers and the artists, everything come together. A lot of it is a psychological work too. How do you keep all these big artistic persons, which are usually very sensitive to their work, and how do you say things in the right way so to keep people like giving you their best? The good thing about producing and writing for other artists is that you get to uh, try different things. I always put myself in the position of the artist and how they are in stage. And if the artist is a good dancer, then I feel more inclined to do something a little more upbeat or, or something with a little more of a groove. I like that an artist is able to pull off live what we do in the studio. It wouldn't make sense for me to do a, a upbeat reggaeton song in the studio and not be able to pull it off live with the right moves. I work with people like Ricky Martin, which are great stage performers that can dance and do a lot of stuff. And that, that has, you know, kind of guided me a certain way in the music that I've uh, produced and, and written for him. But then I've also done stuff with artists like Jesse and Joy that are more acoustic, that also, also sort of moves me to a different direction. Yeah, I wrote a song called Aprenderemos, which means I, uh, we will learn. I mean, it was my reaction to, you know, finding out the results of the elections. It was one of those things where you sort of like pour out your emotions and see maybe that somebody out there feels the same way and that helps clear your own emotions. I think that's the good thing of music. But hopefully, whatever happens politically doesn't turn into our society like breaking down and, and dividing even further. Doing my own music as a singer-songwriter is pretty much the base for everything I do. I mean, everything comes from trying to express emotions. I think that's part of what drives me to make music. And even when I work with other artists as producer or composer, it still comes from that need to, to express myself. That's what I do this for. I, that's the part where I have the most freedom as an artist to uh, really go wherever I need to go. Yes, it is. Yeah.